Harness the power of data analysis with Minitab, a leading software for conducting simple linear regression. Simple linear regression is a statistical method that enables us to predict and understand the relationship between two variables. In the context of simple linear regression, cash flow and interest rate can be considered as a response variable and an explanatory variable respectively. Understanding the relationship between variables is crucial for decision-making in business, science, and many other fields. Understanding the relationship between variables is crucial for decision-making in business, science, and many other fields. Evaluating relationships between variables allows us to better understand and describe them, enhancing our decision-making capabilities. We know very little about the variables and how they relate to each other. For example, engineer wants to understand the relationship between product reliability and oven temperature. By understanding relationships between variables, we can control one to influence the other, optimizing results in various applications. For example, a manufacturer of copper alloys can set the concentration of copper to control the strength of its alloys. When we understand the relationship between two variables, we can predict the behavior of one based on the other, leading to more informed decisions. For example, financial officer wants to predict the cash flow based on raw material costs. Minitab is a powerful software tool that helps in statistical analysis for simple linear regression. The scientist conducts an experiment to examine the relationship between pressure and oxygen purity level. The sample data are shown in table below. Choose graph scatterplot simple. Under y variables, enter purity. Under x variables, enter pressure level. Click OK. The scatterplot result indicates a positive linear relationship between pressure level and oxygen purity, suggesting one could be a good predictor of the other. By fitting a linear model, we can better understand and quantify the relationship between two variables. Choose stat, regression, fitted line plot. In response, y, enter purity. In predictor, x, enter pressure level. Under type of regression model, select linear. Click graphs. Under residual plots, select 4 in 1. Click OK. Minitab allows for detailed model settings, including residual plot options for more comprehensive analysis. Displaying confidence and prediction intervals in Minitab provides enhanced insight into the robustness of the regression model. The regression equation is a mathematical representation of the relationship between the variables under study. The slope of the regression line, 14.95 is the mean change in purity if pressure level changes by one unit. The standard deviation, S. S represents the standard deviation of the distance between the data values and the fitted values. S is measured in the units of the response. Use S to assess how well the model describes the response. The lower the standard deviation, S, the better the model fits the data, suggesting a stronger linear relationship between the variables. R-squared and adjusted R-squared are statistical measures that provide insight into the goodness of fit of the regression model. R-squared, also known as the coefficient of determination, quantifies the proportion of variability in the response variable explained by the model. RSQ is the proportion of variability in the response explained by the equation. The model explains 87.74% of the variation in the response. Use RSQ to determine how well the model fits your data. The higher the RSQ value, the better the model fits your data. While R squared is useful, it can be misleadingly high if unnecessary terms are added to the model. For example, the three predictor model will always have an R squared that is at least as high as the two predictor model. Adjusted R-squared provides a more accurate measure of model fit by penalizing the inclusion of unnecessary predictors. Adjusted R-squared accounts for the number of predictors in the model, providing a more realistic measure of how well the model fits the data. 
R squared adjusted is a modified version of the coefficient of determination, R squared, that takes into account the number of predictors in a regression model. The adjusted R squared value will only increase if the new variables significantly improve the model's performance. The R squared value will always increase, even if the additional predictors do not contribute to the explanatory power of the model. Adjusted R squared prevents overfitting by not increasing when additional, non contributing predictors are added to the model. Analysis of Variance, ANOVA The ANOVA test helps to determine if there is a statistically significant relationship between the response and explanatory variables. The null hypothesis of a two tailed test states that there is not a linear relationship between X and Y. The alternative hypothesis of a two tailed test states that there is a significant linear relationship between X and Y. If the p value is less than or equal to the significance level, you conclude that the model explains variation in the response. If the p value is greater than the significance level, you cannot conclude that the model explains variation in the response. Confidence and prediction interval The 95% confidence interval defines a likely range of values for the population mean of y. The 95% prediction interval defines a likely range for a future individual y for a given x. Residual analysis Residual analysis is the primary tool for determining whether the assumed regression model is appropriate. The deviations between the actual and predicted values are called errors, or residuals. To confirm that the analysis is valid, verify all assumptions about the model error term. Use residual plots to check that the errors have the following characteristics. Normally distributed. Constant variance for all fitted values. Random and independent over time. Why verify the assumptions? These assumptions provide the theoretical basis for the t-test and the f-test used to determine whether the relationship between x and y is significant, and for the confidence and prediction interval estimates presented. If the assumptions about the error term appear questionable, the hypothesis tests about the significance of the regression relationship and the interval estimation results may not be valid. Based on the normal probability plot, you can assume that the residuals for the data do not deviate substantially from a normal distribution. Use the histogram of residuals to determine whether the data are skewed or whether outliers exist in the data. Use the residuals versus fits plot to verify the assumption that the residuals have a constant variance. The plot of the residuals versus order displays the residuals are random and independent over time. The adjusted R squared is a modified version of R squared that adjusts for predictors that are not significant in a regression model. Compared to a model with additional input variables, a lower adjusted R squared indicates that the additional input variables are not adding value to the model. A higher adjusted R squared indicates that the additional input variables are adding value to the model. Use residual plots to check that the errors have the following characteristics normally distributed, constant variance for all fitted values, and random and independent over time. Please remember to like and subscribe to my video channel. Thank you for your support.